Hi there, I'm Dr. Alan Snow, and this is week two of Dr. Snow's Brain Health Factoids. In week one, we discovered about what causes memory loss, and it's basically PTI, plaques, tangles, and inflammation. If you have plaques and tangles in your brain, you certainly have memory loss or can contribute to mark memory loss later on. If you have plaques, tangles, and inflammation, all three, you definitely have memory loss and it could lead to severe memory loss. What can we do about memory loss? And I'm gonna to talk today about foods and drinks. What foods and drinks should we be taking? And this is really easy. You should be taking foods that are rich in polyphenols and proanthocyanins. Proanthocyanins are epicatechin dimers. What's epicatechin? It's found in green tea, black tea, uh, oolong tea, and it's very good source of polyphenols. And what proanthocyanins, why they're so important, if you actually look at the chemical structure, they have aromatic rings and they have two OH groups coming off that are very close to each other. And what we found is that the two OH groups go into plaques and tangles and they get into the brain real quick. It's actually very surprising. Within two minutes of taking it orally, it's actually in your brain. And we showed that in a paper last year. But what it's important is it forms a hydroxyl wedge. And when you have plaques and tangles, it's very insoluble. So this stuff goes in, forms a wedge, and then opens up the insoluble plaques and tangles, which are in a beta sheet, very insoluble formation. And it forms a wedge, opens it up, and the whole thing falls apart. When it falls apart, the microglia of the brain are going to take it away and get rid of it. So this is why we love polyphenols and proanthocyanins. Where can you fall, find these in actual food? Well, it's in berries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, elderberry are very high enriched in polyphenols and proanthocyanins. Another good source is grapeseed extract, very high in proanthocyanins and very good for your brain. Drinking red wine, having a glass of red wine a day is actually very good for your brain health. And that's because polyphenols and proanthocyanins are found in red wine. Dark chocolate, not regular chocolate, but actually dark chocolate shows a high uh, amount of proanthocyanins and it's very good for your brain. So are nuts, walnuts, cashews, almonds, hazelnuts, pecans, flax seeds, are all enriched in polyphenols and excellent for brain health. And the last thing, which I think is actually the most important, is cat's claw, uncaritomatosa. Now, a lot of people haven't heard about this. We did a lot of research on it, and last year published a 109-page paper that shows that cat's claw has not only polyphenols like chlorogenic acid and epicatechin in it, it also has proanthocyanidins, uh, different types that are epicatechin and dimers. They form a hydroxyl wedge. They go into the brain actually really quickly in two minutes, and it actually starts dissolving plaques and tangles. And the way it does it is chemically, it has a hydroxyl wedge of two epicatechins stuck together. The OHs actually go into a beta sheet, which is how plaques and tangles are very insoluble, and the whole thing falls apart. When it falls apart, the microglia of the brain can sweep it away. And this is why we put cat's claw in all our Percepta products. Percepta, Percepta Sport, and Percepta Professional all have a backbone of a specific type of cat's claw known as um, PTI 00703 cat's claw. And what we did is we looked at cat's claw from different sources, different manufacturers, and we found that the elevation of where the tree is has to do with the polyphenol content. And we found a specific source that we call PTI 00703 cat's claw. And that's the one we have in all our Perceptive products. And we've tested it. This data is going to be coming out in a few months. And we show that our specific cat's claw outperforms other cat's claws by at least 50%. And, and we tested it for reduction of plaques and tangles. So we actually have the data to show all this. So that's why, what can we do about memory loss? Cat's claw and karyotomatosa would be number one. And then eating these type of foods would be very important as well. 
I'm Dr. Alan Snow, and this is Dr. Snow's Brain Health Factoids. Next week, we're going to dive into what cat's call is, uncaritomatosa, and what's the research that shows how beneficial this is for brain health. I'm Dr. Alan Snow, and thanks for listening.